Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just tonight, somebody sent me this picture and asked me how they could do this with the envelope tool. And it's kind of a fun project. I don't know what it's for, but uh, using the word rainbow with a little curve to it. And um, pretty easily done. You just need to grab your, uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Your, um, artistic text and just type out the word rainbow but go this is vertical text so R enter A enter I enter N enter B whoop O W then you got the word rainbow so I used a different font on this but I'm going to use this one I'm going to do like this one which is Cooper Black. This font came out pretty good. But then you just need to squinch these letters up by using the shape tool and just go uphill till they're almost in line. Then go and uh, control K and break all the letters apart. And then maybe move this I over, move the R a little bit over move the end up and you're just trying to get them where they're touching at some point and he wanted them welded together so you grab them all and I'm gonna put no fill I'm left clicking my mouse right clicking my mouse then you need to select them all and go up to a range convert to curves and you automatically see your weld window come open I welded them together let's make it a little bit bigger then grab your envelope tool. Now what I would do is take away, just select these two nodes and take them away. Select that node and take it away. And select that node and take it away. Now if you'll click on this node and go up here, add, it's going to add nodes right there. Now to get the other side, you need to, it's going, the, the nodes are going around in a counterclockwise position. So you need to click on this one and add nodes, get the equal amount. I set my nudge, I did a little bit too much extreme on this one, but I set my nudge factor on a lower 2.5. And then just grab your top two nodes and go the with your right arrow key. Skip one. And I'm not I'm just saying this is maybe how you do it. There's probably several ways you could do this. Now just click on one of the nodes to get it to go to a rainbow or get the, the envelope tool to be effective. And his concern was he was going to, he didn't want the envelope tool lines. Well, there, once you got off the envelope tool, there are no lines anymore. So this could actually be cut out because I did a smart fill it. Um, kind of an unusual request, but he's evidently got something in mind for it. And you could go a little more extreme. You could move the letters around. Like in his picture, the R is on top of the A, so that's what I did here. Just pick different fonts and you can move your letters around any way you want. Like if I was going to redo this one, I'd probably bring the I, um, you know, make it equal with that one. And you can still do that. And just always remember that you're, you've got a color fill in a, in a um, outline there. So it's going to look like that. So I would, if I was going to do that, I would take the color away and see there's what you've got. You've got your smart field tool and let's move it out of the way and I would doctor we can just delete that and I would use the shape tool on this part and because it's a envelope it might give you a little bit of trouble so you might have to break curve apart and then you can doctor it up and make the um, a kind of stand out maybe erase that node erase that node and make the a look more like turn this one into a line and then you can always smart fill it again and that does look a little bit better anyway i hope it helped him a little bit thank you for watching